Well hi guys, this is Aaron with Tech in the Dark and today I just wanted to show you a simple little trick on how to get a browser display connected via Bluetooth to your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. We will not be held responsible for any hearing impairments or damage caused to you from excessive exposure to this sound. Now for this demonstration we'll be using an iPhone 4 but you can also do this with the iPod Touch and the iPad 2. I'll be getting an iPad 2 uh, very soon here so I will um, show you a couple of things with that as well. And be, I'll be getting the Mac and the uh, Braille display uh, in July very soon so I can't wait to show you guys that and to show you guys voiceover and how to use it with a Braille display and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and unlock it. And I'm already placed on settings, so I'm going to double tap that. Zoom in a little bit closer here. Okay. Now I'm going to go to general. And let's see if Bluetooth is off. Bluetooth is off, so I'm going to go back. Well, I'm going to uh, flick with three fingers up. Which gets me to the next row. I'm going to double tap accessibility. I'm going to double tap voiceover. I'm going to flick three fingers up again. And find braille. There it is. I'm going to double tap. Now, this braille display has already been paired. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, braille display on here. And it says broke connect 32. So I've done that. And this braille display has already been paired. But I'm going to double tap this and we'll get a notification about Bluetooth. And I'll hit yes. Now if yours hadn't been configured, you'd still go in here, turn on Bluetooth, and it would ask you for a verification code. And that verification code would be either um, 000 or 1234. In my case, for this particular Braille display, the Braille Connect 32, it's 1234. Now it has connected and I'm seeing voiceover back buttons. I can go ahead and hit that and now I can go back up here to the top and go back to the accessibility back button. And now I'm in settings. I can open up any of these programs that I wanted to, or I can do a search, and I see search iPhone, I can just type mail, M-A-I-L, and there's mail, so I'm going to tap that, and so I can now am able to control my iPhone with this Braille device. So I can go into settings. I can go into settings. And I can go to general. And if I wanted to, if I'm done with the Braille device, I can turn off Bluetooth. And Bluetooth is turned off. You heard the sound that the Braille display has disconnected and you get your um, Braille model. This is Braille Connect 32. I'll just turn that off. So I can run this as well. I can double tap. I can turn on the Braille display and turn on Bluetooth right now. And it should connect here. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. It's Bluetooth. What do you expect? <laughs> So I can find the Braille device, double tap that, and it, it, it does work, um, it takes a few tries sometimes to get it to work, but it does work. Uh, so if you all have any comments, please comment, rate, subscribe, give this a thumbs up if you like what you saw, if you like what you saw, give that a thumbs up. And I will be posting more videos when I get my Mac and uh, everything else. So. You know, I'll see you guys in the next video. And we got it now. General back button. And it took a few minutes, but it says general back button. Again, I can.
tap on that to get to get us back into the settings. So this I I enjoy using this to read books on iBooks and listen to music at the same time. I'll turn the speech off and turn the screen curtain on and be able to do that. You can use the messaging application, you can use every single app that's accessible. I mean everything is accessible. Um, everything that is accessible you can use with the Braille display. So this has just been a look at the iPhone with a Pro Connect 32. I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.